You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. I really appreciate it. Exciting day because, as promised, I'm getting to another ice cream maker. This is the Big Top Ice Cream Maker Party Set. So I get two Sunday cups and two spoons. It also says no ice, no salt, no mess. Makes frozen delights of ice cream, yogurt, and other desserts. And it's a half pint of ice cream. There's an original store tag price sticker of $12.49. Looks pretty cool. The Big Top Ice Cream Maker. There is the side panel. Makes frozen delights. Revolutionary pump action. All right. What did they revolutionize in ice cream makers? We all need to find out. Now, you know, I've done a bunch of ice cream makers and I promised you some more. So this one uh, front and back are exactly the same. So let me get it out of the box and let's check out the pieces. Okay, here we go. So there is some cardboard holding this in. Now this was actually a used one. So this is how it got repackaged, but it's still, no, actually this one has never been used. It sure doesn't look that way. A different maker I'm thinking of. Actually, I have another of the same ice cream maker, but uh, I had a couple in my collection. Usually, like if I'm missing a piece, I'll get another one. But the other one was missing pieces, so I had to add this one to the collection. I couldn't just find the pieces anymore. Then it was time to make the video. There's these two of cup, two cups there. Pretty cool and neat colors. A very vintagey color to them. It looks as though it was just packaged really nice. And then here are these spoons. It's neat to have a little bonus item like that. Interesting spoon. Kind of a funny looking spoon if you ask me. And then that's it. Then there is the instruction. What is the system? That's what I need to find out. And where are the recipes? Do they give me some recipes? Ooh, vanilla ice cream, chocolate ice cream, strawberry ice cream, frozen yogurt, banana ice cream, a black cow, orange sherbet. That one sounds good. I don't think I've ever done that. You need a third cup of orange juice, add to the vanilla recipe. Oh, okay, so just make the vanilla ice cream and add a three quarters cup orange juice. I might do that one. Let's see what this says. Instructions for operation. Wash metal cup, blade and shaft with hot soapy water, rinse and dry completely. Place only metal cup inside freezer, open and up. Do not place metal cup on its side or open and down. So you think there's something in here that is, so that is one piece. No, it looks like it, it says metal cup, plastic cup. Hmm. I hear, I hear a liquid in there. The picture shows the metal cup coming out of the plastic cup. Let's see. Yeah, metal cup must be in freezer for at least 10 hours. It is suggested that the metal be stored in freezer. Put metal cup and freezer near cold air vent and make sure freezer is set on maximum for best results. This is about zero degrees. So basically it's like those slushy cup things where you freeze the inner part. Yeah, I don't see this coming out. It just doesn't feel like it comes out. Well, I'll tell you what. Let me wash what I need to wash, and then I'll see if I can get that apart. Either way, I got 10 hours, so I'm going to get something in the freezer, and then I'll show you what I ended up doing, and then I will come back after that and make ice cream. Probably the sherbet. That's what I'm leaning towards right now. So we'll see how that goes. Ooh, the black cow looks cool, too, but I don't have any root beer. All right, well, we'll see what happens. I'll be back. All right, I was bringing everything to get washed, and then I was looking at this going, all right, how do you get this out? It was not easy. By the way, that looks pretty cool. I didn't give you a good look at that. You got three ice cream looking clowns with the big top ice cream maker. Then you put this, it's like the whipped cream, and then you've got the cherry on top. So to get it out, I had to do this. And I tapped it, and eventually, now, doesn't want to do it see there we go so this is what goes in the freezer so I will do that oh, they sure made that difficult all right I am back now it was uh, they suggested 10 hours in the freezer it's been in there 24 hours let's see make and stir ingredients in a bowl note recipe page okay so let's do that we're on the recipe page I was gonna make orange sherbet and it needs to the vanilla recipe 
with three quarters cup of orange juice all mixed in a bowl. So here we go. A third of a cup of cream. And then I decided, you know what, I may just put that whole uh, mix right back into the fridge for a little while to make sure it's nice and cold. Past experiences say this and all your ingredients need to be cold. So I just took them out of the fridge, but by the time I'm done and time I'm talking, I may want to just put it back in there before I do the next step. All right, so three quarters, oh, a third of a cup of cream. Ooh, pay attention. Pay attention, here we go, a third of a cup. All right, there we go. Ingredient number one goes in. How exciting, another ice cream mixer for you. We'll see how this one works. Three tablespoons of milk. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna pour this in here so that I can scoop out three tablespoons. We'll actually get a little of that extra cream in there. Three tablespoons. One. Two. Three. Okay. Three tablespoons of sugar. I've got my sugar in this little bowl here. No lumps. No lumps. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, that's done. Oh, I got some new containers, by the way, for my collection, which I found as I was digging around. Okay, one egg. Now, the thing about the egg is this is a raw egg. Nowadays, they probably wouldn't want you to be using this in a recipe, but we are following exactly what they suggest. Let's give that a little, another new little container here. Thought it'd be fun to bring in some new containers that you could barely see because I don't have the camera set right. Okay. There's the egg. All right. A quarter teaspoon of vanilla, quarter teaspoon. We'll do this right over now. If it's a little over, it's okay. Quarter teaspoon. All right, that is done. And then, remember now, we're doing the sherbet. So for that, add three quarter cup orange juice. It's always fun trying something I've never tried before for you. That much, huh? Add Three quarters of a cup, wow. Just seems like a lot for that little container. Okay, there we go. So mix this up. Now, uh, like I said, I may come back, put this in the fridge and get it really cold, potentially even the freezer, to chill it up to its optimum chill before I put it in the other container. Mm, it smells like sherbet. Okay, that didn't take long to mix. So that's what I think I'm going to do. So I'll be back. I'm going to put this in there, let this chill even more, and then pour it in that other cup. Now it does not say to do that, but it says if ice cream did not come out right, it may be caused by, let's see, one, metal cup was not cold enough. Don't cover it up. Don't cover up vent with food. Metal cup was placed on its side, which it wasn't. Metal cup may have been left at room temperature for more than 10 minutes. It wasn't. The ingredients are warmer than room temperature. And then the volume of ingredients is more than specified. And we're okay there. We followed that exactly. So I am going to now come back, chill this up, and then I will use this big top ice cream maker to make my sherbet. I noticed some of the eggs still in there, so I'm taking this. I think this will give me a much better and more efficient mixing than doing it the way I was. I've used this before and it's quite handy. Okay, I think that's better. I just wanted to show you that I added that little extra step to what I was doing. All right, this is very cold now, all frosty. This is definitely very cold, so we should be in good shape now. Let's see. 
Make and stir ingredients with that. Take metal cup from freezer and place it inside a plastic cup, okay? Make sure you do not have wet fingers or anything like that because it's very sticky. I mean, it will stick. Pour ingredients in the metal cup. Fill cup three quarters full. Now let me just give this a quick stirring. Ooh, it looks so good. It's a little frothy too. And then I had a little extra, well they don't, it's not gonna be easy to pour, is it? Let's see. Three quarters full. I would say that's that. Okay, place inner lid into metal cup. Inner lid. This is the inner lid. Okay, that's that. And then press down to fit securely. It doesn't really press in, so I don't know what they're saying there. Then place ice cream cover over plastic cup. Okay. And then hold one hand on top of ice cream cover and pump with other hand. Note, move shaft up and down. That's the shaft there. Rotating slightly with every pump. Okay, well, here we go. Hmm. Okay, why is it not going down? There we go. Uh-oh. Do this until it's easy to pump. Okay, do this until it is easy to pump. Wait. Wait 30 seconds and repeat. Okay. There we go. Do this for about 10 minutes. All right, well, let me get my timer. Very interesting. I don't have my timer. Let me grab that, I will be right back. Okay, there we go. That was a slight delay. It almost feels like that. No, it's staying down. This is actually holding the other one, so. 10 minutes, whew, we got some time. Oh, I was reading here, and, and something that really is quite, um, I want to say, unsatisfactory to me. It says, if more ice cream is desired after the first batch of delicious ice cream is made, clean out the excess ice cream from the metal cup and place metal cup in the freezer for three hours and start from step B again. When finished for the day, simply rinse remaining ice cream from the metal cup, blade and shaft, dry completely, and start from step A again. So you can't do this back to back. So you're getting about, uh, well, a little bit. I don't know how much that was. That looked about three quarters of a cup, actually. And what's left in here is quite a bit more. So you have to keep that refrigerated if you plan on using it again. Okay. Move shaft up and down with the air pump. Do this until it's easy to pump. Wait 30 seconds and repeat. Okay, wait 30 seconds and repeat. Ooh, this timer. Do you all remember this timer? This timer has gotten so many comments over the years. Let's see. So when you start up, again, it does. it is harder to pull out. So something is happening. Should we peek? Okay, easy to pump, let's wait. Okay, so I have been on the hunt for my other set. I had two sets, the complete set and the incomplete set. The incomplete set is missing, I believe, one of the cups and one of the spoons. Uh, so that's why I repurchased it, which I do quite often. When I can't find a complete set, I've got to purchase another one and put two sets together, like I was saying, I've done that quite a few times, so it gets rather expensive to do that, but these sets are harder and harder to find, and it does take some time. Oh, there we go, a little hard to do. Give it a couple, turn, and wait. All right, that's seven minutes, 28 seconds left. Now, I'm only gonna do one ice cream for you in this particular maker, just because I have to wait another three hours, and I've already got that, so why would you wanna see me do this all over again? It would have been nice to have a second one, which I can't find, and I could have frozen both, but that didn't work out. All right, chocolate ice cream. It says, add to vanilla recipe one tablespoon chocolate syrup or two teaspoons powdered, it says powered, chocolate flavoring for milk. Strawberry ice cream, add to vanilla recipe two teaspoons powdered, strawberry flavoring milk or for milk or three mashed strawberries. Frozen yogurt, you just put the frozen yogurt in. Banana ice cream, a quarter cup mashed bananas, quarter cup cream, three tablespoons milk, two tablespoons sugar. The only other one that I really would have liked would have been the black cow, quarter cup root beer, 
quarter cup vanilla, a quarter vanilla of the quarter vanilla recipe. What? Okay, so maybe you take some of that and a quarter cup of, okay, whatever. You can figure that one out. And then here's all, if this happens or that, do not heat, do not clean plastic parts with solvents. So let's just see. Let's keep going, six minutes. Here we go. Stay up there. Come on. Work with me. Work with me. Oh yes, harder. So that part of it is working. You could just feel it's harder to turn. Okay, so just keep doing that, which I will. So let's see. Well, while I'm here, let me show you another one of my ice cream makers. This might be fun. If I have to stop every so often like this. I've got just enough room to squeeze in this one. This one will probably be next. This is the two-in-one ice cream maker, so it makes two flavors at one time. And I've got the bonus flavor pack, which gives you, looks like, five colors of ice cream. So that one will probably be next. Well, you decide. I've got this one in regards to ice cream makers. And then I've got this little strange one. It says delicious ice cream in 15 minutes. Don't know, kind of a tiny one. I got these two slushy makers, which I've probably had for five years, which I want to do, and Mountain Dew ready to go. I got two new flavors of Mountain Dew. I thought I'd do those in there. And then, oh wait, let me mix. Don't forget to mix, 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 mix. Okay, getting harder. Okay, and then this one is called Discovery Kids Ice Cream Maker. All right, and then let's see, I think that's it. Well, that's not it on the ice cream makers. This one, I don't know if this is what this really is. It's, a, it's called the Sassafras Ice Cream Maker. It's electric. And you actually put the whole thing in the freezer with batteries, I believe, and it churns in the freezer, if I'm not mistaken, which is what I read about it. So I have that in the box. And then I have this one. Ooh, check this one out. This one's pretty massive. It's the Black & Decker Arctic Twist. What do you think about that one? Look at the size of that. Big party. It's for a big party. Well, we'll see. It looks like it makes almost like a soft serve, so those are your options for the next ice cream maker. I have three minutes. Now, every ice cream maker I've ever made, the ice cream is never like it's out of the freezer. It's always softer, and you sometimes have to put it in the freezer if you want it harder. Uh, so I'm not expecting this to be right out of the freezer, scoop it into a nice perfect round scoop. It's gonna be more like a softer, like a soft serve. At least that's what I'm used to. Okay, so there's that, there's that. What else? Hmm. I got all kinds of Play-Doh sets. And cool games. And toys you've never seen. But we'll see. You decide on that last one. I've got two minutes, so let's just finish this up. Can we take a sneak peek? I know people are gonna say, you shouldn't have opened it, but I gotta take a sneak peek. I don't know. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's pretty close. I think it's gonna work. It's gonna work so I could at least try it. All right. Two minutes, 13 seconds. Two minutes, 10 seconds. My trusty car's timer. How many years has that been with me? I don't know. Seven, eight years? I wonder if it came with the toy or a set. I'm not sure. Okay, we're almost there. One minute. It feels pretty good.
Hmm, 50 seconds. All right, let's get in the cups. Let's see if it's enough for these two. Let's get in the extra cream whipped cream and the cherries for the top. And then this is my ice cream scooper, the one I used to mix. So I'll clean that off real quick. All right. Pretty excited. 21 seconds. Let me get one of my plates here to put something on. Okay, I'm going to put the paddle on there so you can watch it in the background as it melts slowly off of the paddle. Okay, time's up. Here we go. Let's get this in here. Let's get this here. I don't think there's going to be an easy way to do this, so let's just pull it out. Very nice. Ooh, it actually looks quite good. Let's see. Well, you take a look. You tell me. I have to say, it's probably better than most ice cream makers that I've tested on video. So it is, it is soft, like I said. There's one. Let's do this. Let me move this here. Let me back this up. Do I have the camera? Oh, camera's totally zoomed out. Here's the second one. Now the bottom is really what you want. It's definitely ready, set, go kind of ice cream. So did it work? Yes, very well. Is it kind of sad that you got to refreeze it? It is. I mean, that's what you're getting. Okay, add out of the way. Here we go. Spoon number one. Like I said, they're very interesting spoons. Spoon number two, quite futuristic, actually. Okay. Cherry on top. What do you think? Let me know. And let me know which set you want next. And if you were here with me right now, would you be looking at all the toys and not caring what I'm doing? Or would you want to try this? Okay. Time for me to taste. I will taste the one on the right. I have to say, they look pretty delectable like that. Almost picturesque in a way. All right, so let me grab a snap of photo. All set, here we go. I'm gonna try this one. Let's see if it tastes like orange sherbet. It sure does. Very much like orange sherbet and very tasty. Ooh, that was crispy. I had an ice cube. Mmm, very good. All right, well, there you go. The Big Top Ice Cream Maker. That chocolate looks good on the front. And I have to say, very successful. And thanks for watching, everybody. Oh, one more bite. And it holds its shape pretty well. Look at that. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up.